Hey, Good Fox here. Today, I'm going to review of Paul Warfield's 95 overall receiver card. He's got Go Deep and Playmaker. Perfect chems, just about, for a card for wide receiver. Playmaker is probably the best wide receiver chem. Um, being able to reroute them instantly as many competitive players' offenses is that playmaker, and you'll see a lot of it on, uh, a lot of it on ladder. So he's checked those boxes. Speed, 95. Another box, checked. 94 catching, check. Illusion is 93, check. Spec, 93, check. Release, uh, who gives a crap? Route running, 95, check. Catching traffic, 89, ooh. 95 jumping, check. Impact block, 54. Run block, 58. Ooh, ooh. those are double O's. Maybe even worse than double O's, triple O's. Um, so basically, he can't be out there lead blocking for you, which kind of limits his use and versatility. Madden 18 is a run blocking simulator. Wow, simulator. I can't even speak. But you need that. Um, uh, otherwise, let's just talk about his skills as a pure receiver. Um, gorgeous. Look at that elusiveness. Look at that spin. It's like it's it brings tears to a glass eye. It warms my steel heart. Like uh, after the catching the uh, screen or bubble, stiff arm to way into the end zone. Stiff arm. It's not great. It's 75, but it still works against those pansies out there playing corner. Uh, they don't have Sean Taylor out there. Warfield catching traffic. Nice. 89. You got the catch of traffic animation where they couldn't get a, po uh, a better hit on them. But you will see some, or I don't know if you will, but you'll see some contentious catches that he loses because of the 89 catch of traffic. That's it. That expects somebody like uh, maybe a rice to pick up or a rice to carry on, hang on to. So, Warfield, great. I love the way this card played on the field when he's out there running routes for me. I knew he would do what I wanted and be where I want at all times. He, I could reroute him somewhere. I could throw it in the middle of the field, go down, hit that A button. He gets the spot that you want fast. Now, the issue sometimes is that you don't always want him there fast, but most of the time you do. Uh, there are some, like, you know, like kind of like if you have a clear out route against like a cover two, cover three, and then you want a really slow tight end or really bad route running one. Comeback route, gorgeous, gorgeous. So Warfield, do you want to fuck with DeWar? I would say yes. Uh, even though he's not a run blocker, he's not crazy expensive. Still 300K is a little pricey for that set, um, but I do think he, he will perform amazingly for you outside of the role of run blocker. So as long as you know his weaknesses, and you can plan around it to not run around him because he will get shedded. Um, I, I think you're going to have a deadly card here. Now, do I think he's better than some of the other receivers that you can hold onto the field all three downs with a high run block? Um, no, but at 300k, you know, you're, you're kind of getting a decent price for a top end receiver for what he can do for you. Uh, he basically hits the thresholds you want. Six foot isn't extraordinarily tall, so you're not going to exactly win any like uh, high point passes to him. So I guess that's another weakness there. But overall, with the elusiveness, the spin move is under 90. 88 is actually the threshold for spin moves. Um, that's a little known fact. Everybody thinks it's 91. It's 88 according to CFM. Uh, but that's it for the Warfield review. Out of 10, I'm going to give him a 9 because of the weaknesses listed with the run block and so on and so forth. All right. That's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.